Welcome back to TechWolf. Today we are going to install Ubuntu on VirtualBox. As you remember in previous videos we installed Windows 10 on our VirtualBox, we installed Kali Linux and before that we installed Oracle VirtualBox. And today let's go and let's install Ubuntu as third operating system on this VirtualBox. And to do this let's open a browser and in browser type in Ubuntu. And here you will see this very first website which is Ubuntu.com. This is their official website. Click into it. And on this page on the top navigation you will see get Ubuntu, click on this drop down and here you will see this green button download Ubuntu desktop, click into there and on this page you will see Ubuntu 24 or whatever version of Ubuntu will be at the time you will be watching this video, click here on, on the right hand side download and this will download this file or ISO image to your computer. Once this download will be complete, Ubuntu will be saved in your downloads directory. Now let's open a virtual box and here click on new and here where it says name give it a name I will call it simply Ubuntu where is folder leave it as it is and where is ISO image on the right hand side click on this arrow and here click on other and go to your downloads directory where you will find your Ubuntu file which we just downloaded click on it and click on open where it says type select Linux where it says subtype select Ubuntu and where it says version select Ubuntu 64 bit then select an attendant install and here where it says username there you can give a username I will give it there a username Bugatti and where it says password give a password and then select hardware and where it says base memory as you can see by default it is 2 gigs I will select in base memory 7 gigabyte and where it says processor I will give it 2 or 3 CPUs or 3 logical processors then select hard disk and by default it will be 25 gigabyte here I also will give about 40 gigabyte and click on finish and now if you have clicked finish in some scenarios it will start straight away installation process but close it down as I want to show you how it works from the very beginning. After you have done this, select this Ubuntu virtual machine which we just created and here at the very top click on start and let's start installation of Ubuntu. And here you will see this try or install Ubuntu. Let's close this side panel down and the installation will start. Once it has loaded you will see here your Username, here you will see your password where you enter password, hit enter. On this screen in the right top corner click on next, here click on next, here no don't share the system data if you want you can share and click on next and here you click on finish and your Ubuntu will be installed. Here if you click on view, full screen mode, here click on switch and if your Ubuntu is not in full screen mode here on the top navigation click on devices and here click on insert guest edition CD image and this disk icon will appear here in this navigation and now to complete this installation we need to open up terminal click here in the left button corner on this icon here select terminal here change directory to media by using command CD hit enter and in this media you should have a folder name with your username so let's enter this folder by using cd type in your username what you use to login forward slash and enter and you will enter your users folder and in this folder type in ls and hit enter and you will be able to see this file which we just downloaded let's enter this virtual cd rom folder by also typing a command cd and this folder name and hit enter and once we are in this folder we can have a look around by seeing what files are there by also entering a command ls and hit enter and now you see all files which are located in this folder and here you can see this file vbox linux additions dot run this is the file which we need to run but this is compressed and we will not be able to run it so we need to install a bzip2 tar before we do that type in sudo apt update hit enter and here pure password and hit enter and it will update all packages and now let's install bzip2 tar type following command sudo apt install bzip2 paste and tar and hit enter. Here you click on Y 
to confirm it yes and hit enter and now let's try to run this guest additions file bbuild linux additions dot run and to do so also type in command sudo this is as you are using as main user dot forward slash and file name and hit enter and here you can see the system is currently not set up build kernel models please install the gcc make Perl packages from your distribution so let's do it and to do that also type in sudo apt paste install and gcc make Perl. and hit enter here again y to confirm yes enter and now let's run this guest editions again just click on arrow up to get to those commands and hit enter and now it should be working but first let's restart this virtual machine let's close it down now make sure that you have clicked on this virtual machine and here on the top click on start here again let's log in click on your name uh, type in your password hit enter and here on top where it says view full screen mode and click on switch and now Ubuntu is installed and it is available in full screen mode. 